Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Advanced Bio. Today I am going to start the topic Physiology of Heart. In your syllabus, some topics are included in this chapter. Those are the structure of mammalian heart, coronary circulation, structure and function of the conduction of myocardial fibers, origin and conduction of cardiac impulses, cardiac cycle and cardiac outputs and lastly the blood pressure and its regulation. Okay fine, I'll make different videos of different topics. Okay, now I'm going to discuss about the structure of mammalian heart. The topic is more or less known to you all. I just recapitulate it and give some details on it. Okay, now for the benefit of the discussion, I divide this chapter into some points. Those are number one, the layers of heart. Number two, the chambers of heart. Number three, the musculature of heart. Number four, the valves of heart. And lastly, number five, the vessels of heart. Now, point one, the layers of heart. The mammalian heart is surrounded by a protective sac. It is known as the pericardium. And this pericardium is composed of basically two layers. Number one is the fibrous pericardium and number two is the serous pericardium. What do you mean by the serous? Serous means the cellular mass, those who are responsible for the secretion of any watery fluid. In any respect. And in this regard also. Okay, I'm coming here with a PowerPoint presentation and stay with us. Thank you. See, this is the pericardium. This is the pericardium. And this pericardium is the sac, protective sac, which surrounds the heart superficially. And then, if you, if I make a section of this uh, pericardium, then pericardium is composed of basically two layers. Number one is the fibrous pericardium and then it is the serous pericardium. And serous pericardium again subdivided into parietal pericardium and the visceral pericardium. Mind that, parietal pericardium is the part of the pericardium. But visceral pericardium is not the part of the pericardium. It is the part of the outer layer of the heart itself. That is the epicardium. Okay. Now, if we rupture this pericardium, then we can find the heart intact. This is the heart. And this is the heart wall. If we make a section of this heart wall, then we can find this verification of the heart. See, this is the pericardium. From here to here is the pericardium. This deep blue portion is the minute gap between the pericardium and the heart. And from here to here is the epicardium, the outermost layer of the heart. From here to here is the mesocardium. This is the medium or middle layer of the heart. And this is the innermost layer of the heart. That is the endocardium. Right. Now, this epicardium, this epicardium is the outermost layer. It is thin. And this layer is consist of adipose tissue, connective tissue and mesothelium. This layer secret serous fluid and this layer is also known as the visceral pericardium. The outer layer of the epicardium is known as the visceral pericardium. Then myocardium, this is the myocardium, this is, it is made up, made up of different heart muscle cells. Okay, this is the thick, thickest layer of the heart. And this layer is mainly responsible for the pumping action of the heart. And now this is the endocardium. This is the innermost layer of the heart. And this is the thin bed and consists of endothelium, loosely bounded connective tissue and sub-endothelium layer. This is the inner surface of the heart. That is the endothelium. Inner surface of the endothelium. This surface is not very smooth because some trabeculae are seen here. 
Due to the presence of this trabeculae, the inner surface of the heart is not very smooth, rather it is rough. For your information, if we consider the histological structure of the heart well, so many fibrous skeleton can be found. Now, I will go to the second point that is chambers of heart. See, this is the chambers of heart. There are main two chambers within the heart internal. See, these are the upper chambers of heart, left and right auricle or atrium. This is the lower chambers of the heart. This is the ventricle. Atrium are the blood receiving chambers. The blood comes to heart here from lung and different regions of the body. And ventricles are the, these two ventricles, these two ventricles are the blood discharging chambers. That is, blood goes from the ventricle to lung and different regions of the body. See, so the types of chambers are basically two. That is the blood receiving chambers, that is atria, and the blood discharging chamber, chamber that is the ventricle. What is the number of the chambers? Now come to the point. This is the muscular septum, intermuscular septum. This intermuscular septum divides heart internally into left side and right side. Mind that this is the left side of the heart, but it is your right side. And this is the right side of the heart, but this is the left side of yours. Now, due to this presence of these, the auricle the number of auricle is 2, number of ventricle is 2. This is the left atrium, this is the right atrium, this is the left ventricle, this is the right ventricle. So, types of chambers are 2, numbers of chambers are 4. Right? These atrial wall, better to say these atrium are smaller in sizes, but the ventricles are significantly bigger than the atrium. Now I am starting the point 3 that is musculature of heart. I have already discussed the layers of heart. See, this is the heart. This is epicardium, myocardium, endocardium. This is the part of pericardium. The outermost layer of the pericardium is the fibrous pericardium. This is the innermost layer of the pericardium. It is the parietal pericardium. There is a minute gap between the pericardium and the heart. This gap or this space is known as the pericardial space. And this pericardial space is filled up of watery fluid. Now the wall of chambers and the septum are muscular. The musculature of ventricle, see this, the musculature of the ventricle is more well developed than that of atria. Now, another important thing is, another important thing is the papillary muscle. Mind it, papillary muscle. These are the papillary muscles. See, these, these, these. One, two, three, and here one, two. Actually, papillary muscles are the muscles located in the ventricle of the heart. This is the ventricle of the heart, these are the origin. And there are five total papillary muscles in the heart. Three in the right ventricle and two in the left ventricle. Papillary muscle remain attached to the atrioventricular valve. These are the atrioventricular valve, right? These are the atrioventricular valve. Later we will discuss about the bicuspid valve, tricuspid valve. There will discuss in detail. Okay. And these papillary muscles remain attached to these valves via cordy tendon. These are the cordy tendon. This is attached to this via this. Okay. And these papillary muscles regulates the opening and closure of these valves by contraction and relaxation. By contraction and relaxation. Right. Now come to point four. That is valves of 
heart. One of the most important features inside the heart is the valves. There are mainly two types of valves are there. Two types. These are the one type. These are the second type. These muscles are, these valves are known as the atrioventricular valve because these valves are present in between the region of the atrium and ventricle. Atrium and ventricle. So these valves are known as the atrioventricular valves. And the another type is the semilunar valve. These are the semilunar valve. These are the semilunar valve. Because these valves are present in between the ventricle and the artery, different artery. So these are called the semilunar valve. Now, in detail, the valves in between the left atrium and left ventricle is known as the left arterioventicular valves. This is the left ventricle and left atrium and these valves is present in between these and these. So this is known as the left ventric arterioventicular valve. And the technical name of this is the mitral valve or bicuspid valve. See this one. This is the two cuspid here. Right? That's why the bicuspid valve. And see this. This is present in between the right auricle or right atrium and the right ventricle. So this is known as the right atrioventricular valve. And the technical term is tricuspid valve. This is the tricuspid valve. Three cuspid is present here. Okay. Now, these AV valves, AV valves mean atrioventricular, these and these. Okay. These AV valves specifically separates the atria from the ventricle. It separates the atria from the ventricle. And allows the direction of the blood flow downward. Because, because the blood comes here to here. But blood comes here to here. But backflow of blood that is from downward to upward is not the allowed. Now, semilunar valve. These are the semilunar valve. These are the semilunar valve. Semilunar valves are the gateway between the ventricle and the arteries. These are also open unidirectionally. Most spe specifically, this semilunar valve between the left ventricle and the aorta. This is the aorta. This is the aorta. This sem semilunar valve between the this left ventricle and the aorta is known as the aortic valve and this is the semilunar valve present in between the right ventricle and the pulmonary artery is known as the pulmonary valve okay now we see the types of valves are basically two types that is AV valve and semilunar valve but the number of valves is four: bicuspid, tricuspid, aortic, and pulmonary valves. Okay. Now come to the last point, point number five: vessels of heart. Mainly, three types of vessels are found in heart. One is the cardiac artery. Number two is the cardiac vein. And number three is the coronary circulatory vessels. Cardiac artery includes the aorta and the pulmonary artery. Veins includes the vena cava that is inferior and superior vena cava and the pulmonary veins. And the coronary vessels includes the coronary vessels includes the coronary artery and coronary veins. In this video, I have discussed only the structural aspect of the heart, not the functional aspect. For the functional aspect, you should see the another video tutorial, Physiology of Heart Part 2. Okay, I am coming back with uh, PowerPoint presentation. Now the cardiac artery. Okay. This is one cardiac artery, is the aorta. And this is the pulmonary artery, another type of 
auto the outer this outer this outer is linked to the left ventricle of the heart and the blood is pumped out to the body through this outer actually outer of the outer is the main artery of our body and now the pulmonary artery this is the pulmonary artery it is originated from the right ventricle this is the right ventricle and from the right ventricle the pulmonary artery is originated the deoxygenated blood pumped out to the lung through this artery now cardiac vein this is the vena cava this and this this is the superior vena cava from the upper side of the body blood comes here and from the lower side of the body blood comes here this is the inferior vena cava these are the main veins of our body these are connected to the right atrium of the heart and deoxygenated blood comes to heart via these vessels okay and now the pulmonary vein these are the pulmonary veins okay these pulmonary veins remain attached to the left atrium this is the left atrium okay and the oxygenated blood comes back to heart from the lung via this pulmonary veins now coronary circulation see this on the surface of the heart you can find these vessels right blue and red vessels these are called the coronary artery and coronary veins actually this is the coronary circulation coronary circulation is the network of arteries and veins present on the surface of the heart and this supplies the heart mainly coronary arteries supplies the heart oxygenated blood to ensure the heart continue to pump similarly coronary veins are also present in the surface of the heart okay i discuss the coronary circulation in detail in another video tutorial physiology of heart part 3 you should see that video for better conception okay lastly it should be mentioned that the cardiac conduction system what is it the cardiac conduction system is the group of specialized cardiac muscle cells in the wall of the heart that send signals or message to the heart muscle causing it to contract the main components of the cardiac conduction systems are is a node every node parkinji fiber and bundle of his and etc now this is all about the structure of the heart especially mammalian heart thank you thank you all please subscribe my channel like and share this video